All right, so let's start with a super basic one. What exactly is a sponsor? This is actually a little bit trickier <laughs> than, than, uh, than it seems. You know, so let's break it down. A sponsor is someone who wants access to your audience. Um, they want to talk what you or they want they themselves want to talk about a particular product or service and or they want to expose your audience to a certain product or service so that they will purchase it or become part of their community. So essentially they're saying, <clears throat> hey, whatever you're doing on TikTok, whatever you're doing on a particular platform, let's keep it broad. Whatever you're doing on a particular platform, your audience matches the segment of the audience that we want to reach. And so because of that, we want to go ahead and do a partnership with you. We will pay you X amount of money or revenue share or what have you based on us accessing that audience. That's where it gets a little bit more detailed. What I found is that there's two different types of sponsorship. And one is what we usually talk about with sponsorship. And the other one is a type of sponsorship called affiliate. So let's break it down super simple or as simple as possible. Again, we could have like a five hour show on this. So I'll try to keep it basic. Sponsorship in the traditional term when we mention a sponsor is an active sponsorship. This Bring Your Worth TV show is sponsored by such and such. It's not, but you hear where I'm going. That is active. And then I might show the product. I might be like, oh, this is sponsored by the complete Bring Your Worth collection, you know, published by Bring Your Worth Publishing or what have you. That is active sponsorship. I'm gonna go ahead and have this product or the service or interview somebody and they're gonna talk about the product service. I'm gonna put it in front of my audience. This is what it is, it's active. You have to do something. Often when it comes to media, like for instance with this show, I might have a 15 minute episode and a sponsor might say, you know what, I want you to do a 30 second block, 30 second blocks is just a term for a video, a 30 second block talking about this new ice cream that came out that's made by entrepreneurs who are side hustlers. And that will appeal to your audience because your audience is full of side hustlers and they like ice cream. And so Damon will pay you X amount of dollars and then you go ahead and give us a 30 second spot and you kind of go from there. Passive sponsorship, which I mentioned in, um, in most every episode is based on often affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing is saying, you're gonna have a particular link to a particular product or service. When someone of your community or someone's watching your videos or reading your newsletter or whatever, clicks on the link, there'll be a little message that's sent to the company that's sponsoring you. If someone buys a product or service, then you're actually going to get a piece of the money that that main organization is getting. So if I have a bookstore and I sponsor your newsletter and you say, hey, Damon has a great bookstore called Damon's Bookstore, check it out. And someone from your community in your newsletter clicks on it, then that's a little message that's sent over. And then if someone with, with that same person that clicked on the link goes and buys $20 worth of books, we might have an agreement so that I give you say 5% or whatever that final sale is. So one is very active. This is an advertisement that we're talking like old school when there were three stations, CBS, NBC, and ABC, where there's like an ad, or it's like there's someone that's coming on the air that's talking about it, sponsored content, that's active sponsorship. Then there's other one, which is passive sponsorship, which we often call affiliate or uh, referrals. You could either use either term. Once you get into that space, then there's an opportunity for you to serve both parties because obviously there's an organization or um, a company that has a product or a service who wants to really serve. Ideally, you have to make sure that they really want to serve your audience and wants to serve your audience. But then your audience is actually getting exposure to these cool things that actually serve them. So when I have a link and, and most of my links here are affiliates, there's a little disclaimer at the bottom and I often mention it during the show. So if I'm offering, say, Beehive, which is my newsletter service that I use, um, again, the links are below and I'll talk about them in a moment. If I'm using Beehive and I love them as a newsletter platform, which I do, 
And I say, yo, y'all should check out Beehive because I was with some other platforms. They didn't work that well for me, but this one, this is special because of this, that, and the third. That gives Beehive an opportunity to get access to my Bring Your Worth TV audience. And then also it gives my audience um, service or a product that will actually help them level up because that newsletter service is great. For that, being a catalyst for that, being the connector, the intermediary, then I get paid from Beehive. That's where the ethical things come in, where you have to make sure that you're not just shilling something, but you're actually saying, this is something that's going to serve my audience with this product or my service. Again, I talked about that at the newsletter at joindamon.me early this morning. Feel free to click on there after, after this video. But I talked about the science behind that and how if you're honest and true as far as serving your audience, it makes it a lot easier to frankly make a living because I'm not gonna serve y'all dog food. Nothing against dogs, nothing against food. But I'm not gonna serve y'all the proverbial dog food and be like, yeah, this product is great because they wanna pay me a bag. It's like, no, actually, there's a clearinghouse to this and not everyone's going to be sponsored. I've turned down sponsors recently where I'm like, that's not the vibe of my audience. The money sounds good, but that's, that's not my audience. That's not right for them. So I had to say no. So you're leaving the money on the table, quite literally, but there's also trust that's built up over time as you work with different sponsors, you know? Oh, for sure, for sure. And again, check out jo Joan's, uh, Joan's uh, channel. The link should be in there with her comment if you're watching on YouTube. Now, if we're gonna go a little bit deeper as far as what a sponsor is, um, the sponsorship is really about you. Again, I, I, can't, I can't emphasize this enough. I think it's worth repeating. I'm realizing I'm repeating myself, but it's really worth repeating. It's essentially someone paying you in some form to get access to the people that you build a community with. That is a, um, a gentleman's agreement. Sorry for the antiquated term, but there isn't a, a new term for it. If there's a new term, please throw it in the chat. But it's a gentleman's agreement. If I'm hyping up Beehive or the other platforms I'm talking about that will help you get sponsorships, then y'all, 18,000 plus of y'all are trusting me. And then Beehive, you know, with me being an affiliate for them, which is the, you know, the noun of it, me being an affiliate for them, they're trusting me to show them in the best light and trusting me that you guys are the right audience for it. So there's a whole circle of trust here. And once that's broken, I've seen it happen, it can get really, really ugly. And so if we're gonna go ahead and talk about sponsorships, then we need to talk about how we can actually connect with sponsors and learn more about them. We'll get deeper into that in the next question, but let's start with the super basic platforms. One of my favorites is Partner Stack. Partner Stack allows you to set up affiliate links based on different organizations who are looking for folks like yourself who have an audience. And again, to emphasize, audience could be on um, the social media platform du jour. I don't want to say any more platforms because <laughs> if you guys are watching this in the future, then you know some of these platforms literally might not exist. So the social media platform du jour, it could be of your newsletter, which is why I love newsletters. They always exist. They're kind of like uh, you know um, basic TV or, or the, the mail, <laughs> the postal office. It's always going to be around. It's like the radio, it's always going to be around. That's why I'm hyping up newsletters so much. Um, so it could be that. Um, it could be your, your show, whatever platform that is. It could be your podcast, whatever, whatever. Partner Stack allows you to connect with the different ones and learn more about them. And I will go ahead and uh, see if I can do this. Go ahead and bring in, bring in another, <laughs> another one here. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, look, see? Right back like I left something. All right. So this is Partner Stack. It's just partnerstack.com. Obviously, connect, earn, grow, you know the vibes. And so it allows you to connect with different, different companies. And so there's probably about, oh man, about 100 companies that I've seen on my dashboard. And then what I can do is, is um, go ahead and reach out to them really simple and be like, hey, you know, I'm, I connect side hustler solopreneurs, other non-traditional entrepreneurs. I help them get get their stuff off the ground. 
and I'm going to go ahead and, and give you this level of support. And I have this show and I can put affiliate links in there because I think that my audience is really going to care about your particular product. And so after I talk with them, it's not even, it, it's not even a long conversation, you know, just over email or equivalent of a DM within the platform, then we get connected and so forth. It's cool because there's certain bonuses that companies will have depending on how much traction you get based on how many clicks there are and so forth. We'll talk about that towards the end when we talk more about how you price those things and, and all that other stuff. Um, yeah, and then obviously there's, there's quite a few different ones. Uh, Freshworks, I'm a fan of. Um, I've talked about them quite a bit. Vimeo, they're kind of like the competitor to YouTube. Shout out to Vimeo. And there's quite a few of these that are, that are really cool. Um, and I'll make sure, yeah, click on this, there we go, there you go, let's try to get a little bit more for you guys, a little bit more meat, um, but so these are different things, and of course they're breaking down the revenue stats, you apply to the network, and we're going to get into that with, uh, with the next question as far as how you get involved with them, and also what you need to actually have traction to talk to different folks like that. So that's how Partner Stack works. I can go do a deeper dive. Shoot, shoot me a link or shoot me a link. Shoot me a message or a comment in the comments or go ahead and let me know if you want a full breakdown of Partner Stack. I just want to give you guys a general overview of what's happening. Uh, Mario Armstrong, shout out to him. You can Google him and other folks have these really big deep dives as far as getting sponsorships. Again, you can talk about it all day. I want it just to be a broad introduction to what you guys can get involved in as you build up your content and as you build up your community. I'll be remiss if I didn't shout out Caitlin, Caitlin Arford, if I can speak today, Caitlin Arford and her wonderful newsletter over at, at Freelance Opportunities. You can click the link right there. Also part of Beehive Network. Shout out to the Hive, not, the, not Beyonce, but the other Hive. But shout out to her because I actually learned about a few of these things through her work. She has a fantastic newsletter. I want to say it comes out every other week, depending on what's happening. And what she does is she collects the last newsletter I saw. I couldn't even, it was so many opportunities, like opportunities for freelance writing, freelance editing, podcasting, anything that's kind of the independent, independent creators. This is the jam for that. I want to say the last one that I read of hers probably had like a hundred opportunities. No, no exaggeration. No cap as the kids say, like for real, like it was an amazing amount of opportunities. Um, it is a free newsletter. I think all the editions of it are free, but feel free to click on it. I know definitely that the, the issue that I got recently was free, but check it out. She does fantastic work. Some of these opportunities I actually learned through her. So I want to make sure I gave her a shout out. Hope you're doing well, Caitlin and fantastic work that you're doing over there supporting you know, us that are independent. If you want to understand the power of specifically affiliate links, which again is the passive version of sponsorship, be sure and check out my recent video, Passive Income 2024. Hey, we're in 2024. And it is, I would say like 30 minutes of just breaking down what you need to do to build passive income. I've talked about this since the show launched three and a half years ago. I've been talking about it with y'all when I started doing the Bites of Entrepreneur series, which became the Bring Your Worth series. Again, eight years ago, back when my kid was born, like this is a conversation. The reason why passive income matters in this case is that for the biggest creators that you know, from uh, Mr. Beast on YouTube to some of the people that are really popular on LinkedIn, as well as on the other platforms, a big part of their income, believe it or not, not just comes from the active sponsorship is it this sponsors, this, you know, post or whatever is it's sponsored by such and such and it has hashtag sponsored, but a lot of it also comes from affiliate. Affiliate is part of this discussion because if you're like me and all your money comes independently, then a project could be running slow. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking with someone right now where we're working on a project and it's going way slower than expected. So you could be working on a project and it could be going slower. Um, you could um, have issues with the companies that are taking care of you. Last year, I had a company that I worked for and go bankrupt. And so that money has gone or I got to figure out some type of uh, remediation, I think is the term for that. That's part of the game. And I've been, see the gray hairs. I've been in this game for a while. This is part of the game. 
if you're able to create sponsorships, whether it's active, having someone come in, you know, and you actually have an active quote unquote advertisement, or if you end up coming in with the passive as in the affiliate um, or the um, referral fees or what have you, then you're able to even things out. And I'd say about once a week, yeah, about once a week, I'm getting a paycheck from somebody. And it could be through uh, the affiliate, it could be through sponsorships, which I'll get into in a second, as far as active sponsorship. It could be from the royalties from the books that I've done, you know, and that's the nice thing about having your own publishing company, you know, so when y'all buy a book, then the majority of it comes to me, thank you for supporting me, et cetera, et cetera. That allows things to be a lot more even and money is always coming in, whether I have active freelance or not. So be sure and check it out. Of all the videos, that's the one I would recommend the most. All right, y'all. So we are talking about what are we, what are we talking about? Ah, that's what we're talking about. How to get sponsors. This is Bring Your Worst Show. It's Bring Your Worst TV coming to you live on Wednesdays. The schedule is in flux, but you can catch me on Wednesdays live on this platform, LinkedIn. Um, where else am I? Amazon. <laughs> I know some of y'all post this on, on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook. I'm sorry, Meta, whatever you guys call it. I'm not, I haven't been on them there for a couple of years, but I know some of y'all watch it because some of y'all share the link, which I appreciate. Thank you for the love. All other platforms that I'm actually not on that you guys have given me wonderful shine on. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. All right. If you guys have any questions, throw some in there. 